Birds are well fit in the old act, mate. They're fucking honking bits of kit, mush. By the time we reach the old hacks, everyone is wasted, buoyed by uh, the neon strip tea sign on the side of the building and the promise of more warm lager. In many ways, the act represents a spiritual nirvana of our journey. If you're looking for tawdry East End strip pub heaven, then this place delivers in spades. A grade two listed building, like the Flying Scotsman, the interior is stunning. With what the British listed buildings website refers to as highly decorative, deep coat, cornice, freeze pattern with lion's heads, winged creatures and shells. There are also those cut glass mirror panels, common to old school pubs, and a lot of girls in neon thongs. When white lingerie with hard eyes, who wants to know? With alarming predictability, whether one, uh, one of us wants a private dance. We decline and make for the bar. My jaw is still hurting and I'm confused, wondering what significance is to be drawn from all of this. That some men enjoy seeing random girls get naked so much they are willing to pay for the pleasure, even though any sexual desire they may have won't be sated. Hardly a stunning insight. What is clear though, is that these are places where normally intimate human interaction has been codified and reduced to a cold commercial exchange. These girls are not unempowered, but they are smiling money machines, out for all they can get, while the guys who objectify them pay for the privilege. It's not very sexy. Yeah, tits. <laughs>